Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and yes, uh, I'm going to I'm going to announce that the house is for sale. So this would be a little bit uh, different video. I will show you guys part of the house. Inside is just too much crap in there, but at least I'll show you a little bit of outside and the surroundings here. So we will start with a nice big garden. You see here. So um, yeah, we are planning on selling this house soon. We actually have to start now, and then the new house is coming. So this is a. Oh, did, oh did, what did you find there? Oh, bring the buy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so we, we see, you see. Okay, I have to tell you guys, I'm the, the, the opposite of a handyman. I, I don't know how to fix this shit, man. So this one is in a little bit bad state. You know, this is a very honest uh, uh, advertisement. But look here, we have bring about it. Oh, nice. There is a... Uh, there's a, this one with a thorn, I don't know, it's a, what do you call it, rose bush, rose bush. We tried to trim it, but it's still, man, it's hard to kill these uh, plants. And here we also have more, bring it by, um, raspberry, they're called raspberry. So, and then you see, this one is a neighbor, nice neighbor, super friendly, she also loves dogs. And so this is our part here, 120 square meters. It spans over three four stories. We also have a little bit on the, on the, they call it loft. Uh, yeah, this will be my, mainly for for um, uh, Norwegians, of course. But I'll show you guys this also for my audience. Uh, around 20, no, around 15% of my audience, they are actually Norwegians. So, right, go over here. If you want also brennesle, we have plenty of brennesle. You can supposedly cook soup out of this. Yeah. And all oh, those apples. Yeah. We have a apple tree. Uh, Mr. Sh let me see if I can zoom in here. It's we also have some them apples. Wait, can I see? I need to ninja. There, 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 there. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah. We get some apples here also. Oh, there's also some uh, some fallen apple on the ground here. Well, this one, you could almost eat it. Nice, nice. Look at this. Huh? Huh? Okay, okay, good. We have some shrooms also. If you want shrooms. And then we have musk you by strawberries. The small strawberries. Uh, What's up with this bell now? Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. There's only <laughs> okay, but, but so we have a fairly big garden, plenty of space, you see, for kids to run around. Um, yeah, all right. And you see now it's, uh, what's the time now? It's uh, mid-August and uh, yeah, 5.30 in the afternoon. So we get sun here for a fairly good amount of time. We actually had some, uh, some uh, a pork barbecue in the in the porch porch here porch the porch oh shit. Huh. okay so i'll show you here this is the the balcony terrace thingy yeah we have some uh, outdoor i mean with the here okay we even have a box here for carrying some shit right the pillows so uh nice place right nice place okay okay let's move on So yeah, here we also have a little hedge. We have some neighbors there. Yo, what's up? So um, yeah, you just have to trim the hedge from time to time. And let's go over here. This is uh, considered um, a shared space, but you can actually hang your clothes here and dry them, supposedly. Here, here, you see on the upper side of the wall. We have a, a heat pump. This is the outside of the heat pump. And then we also have water tap here. There, that's common. Okay, you, you get this one also. Easy. This is the old, oh yeah, the old one. Oh yeah, so it's great. Let me see, is it locked? Yes, yeah, it's locked now. So this one, at least the fuse, you see, it's done with a professional electric electrician. Uh, by the book, everything. So uh, yes, um, you can pull roughly 25 amp from it. Sometimes 25 amp might, might be too much. I have Tibet pulls, so it will adjust the, the current. Uh, De depending on the load, but sometimes it still blows the main fuse. So yeah, uh, sometimes to be safe, I can at least charge 16 amp here. So you can just get this one. I will not uh, take it with me. So you get this one. Good shit, man. Easy. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure maybe if you want a long cable, you can also get this one because I might not need it in the new house because uh, actually a long cable like this is very useful. You see, I park over there. Uh, it's the Metron cable and it's rated for uh, let me see, I think they made a custom one for me, but they say a 32 amp single phase, I think. 
Uh, yeah, one phase. Okay, yeah. So this is good enough for for that use. This one is sil silent scooter. You don't get that one. Okay, this one also some shit. I will remove eventually. So here you see the entrance. Yeah, Titut Kiruna 3B. So I mean, it's impossible for me to hide my identity and my location, right? Uh, I guess you can also uh, get this one, uh, Yale. It's very convenient to have it. Yeah, and then. Um, yeah, I can't show you guys too much on the inside because it's quite messy. I can, I can show you some of it, maybe. Yeah, okay, let's see. I think I have... Uh, yeah, okay. See? It's just... A, I just show you guys a freaking big mess right now. So that's why I don't want to see it and show you guys because when once you get baby, the house just gets bombed, man. Freaking bombed. But we have a nice entrance here. See, we can put our Cybex stuff here. And the leak... Oh, sorry. The leak over there is a mirror there. We have some more shit here. The storm bike stuff. So... A uh, nice place, nice place. Like we have, like I said, 120 square meters. Each floor is roughly 40 square meters. So you have to look at this in some professional pictures eventually. But let me just keep moving here. So this spot here is not a permanent charging spot, parking spot. It's more like ad hoc. Like I mentioned, my neighbor, she's actually over there. She's very nice. So uh, uh, she doesn't mind if you park here from time to time just to charge you know like ad hoc but it's not a permanent spot but her spot is in fact a permanent spot so just to you know keep that in mind but she's she's just chill you know she she doesn't be like oh you know uh, don't park there or something she never refused me to park there i could just yeah but okay in general basis i don't want to block this one because it has something to do with safety in case of emergency the the ambulance or something they need to be able to pass through here but as ad hoc uh, very useful and then we live in a nice and quiet neighborhood. Uh, the houses, by the way, the walls, they have been newly renovated. I also, uh, last year, I did a renovation, or I paid the electrician for renovation for uh, the fuse box. So it's now nice and tidy in the fuse box. Uh, the water tank, 200 liter water tank in the basement, it's also branch banking new. And they have usually a lifetime of around 10 years. And uh, yeah, and then also, you see, so there's the house. And then here is my, or your future garage. So we have the Funkenstein in here right now. Uh, I have some stuff over there. Okay, it's a little bit messy, banana boxes, but it's, uh, I don't remember how big it is, but it, it can fit many cars. Model X even fits in here. You can even fit EQS and uh, like I have the banana boxes in there. So if you don't have banana boxes in here, you can probably fit even larger cars yeah, uh, so we have outlet here. Uh, this is 16 amp fused. And I have my EcoFlow and some shit over here. Yeah, I need to test this one, by the way. Test camp. The fridge. Oh yeah, I'll test that with the Model Y. But, okay, uh, it's not insulated. But it's, this is typical Norwegian style, you know. And then, yeah, this one also. You have the, the Type 2 holder there. And then also this one follows the, the house or the garage. Schneider Electric. What I like about this is that uh, you can detach the, the just like the easy. Uh, so you can use the type two or whatever, type, type two to type one, whatever you want. Yeah, uh, it has some app support. I never really used it. Yeah, so they're showing you that this is what you get. Also, the garage, very nice, very convenient. And also it's motorized. Yeah, okay, so then let's keep moving here. So, um, my neighbors, yeah, they actually start using some electric cars. My neighbor is actually interested in the house also. Um, supposedly, the younger generation here, they are also interested in that one. And then their, their parents live here. So this is a, uh, what do you call it, Blindway. It's, um, it's a dead end here. So there's almost no traffic in here. Very nice for children. I mean, why do we sell it? Yeah, because I have grown out of my house. I need something bigger, but for normal family who doesn't do YouTubing <laughs> and banana boxes in front of the house or car reviews, then it's fine. It's perfectly fine. And let me show you here. This, uh, this one has been reven renovated about, uh, oh, I think it was around two, two, three years ago. It wasn't looking that nice, but now it's a nice place for play. Uh, it's a nice playground here. I can show you. Uh, this was actually something that the municipality paid for, from what I remember. I think they paid over a mil nook for this. Um, so you have 
places to play and see it's, it's nice and soft here so you can the kids can fall here without hurting themselves we even have a, a place you can uh, grill barbecue we have some benches here we have uh, toys uh, play stuff over here sandbag but don't go over here man but those those cats nearby they sheet here and then they dig uh, yeah they, they you can actually see oh, shit, you can see the traces the cat must have pooped you can see the poop there so yeah that this is a problem man don't let the kids play here <laughs> you have some bouncing place there right you have a place you can play around here uh let me see uh what else yeah also a little football uh, field here for you, bigger kids there's also baseball oh, sorry yeah that's no, right basketball sorry. basketball over there huh trash cans here also so this is this is a nice area i mean the, the problem for me is that isabel is not big enough to utilize this yet but fortunately also in my new neighborhood uh, yes him i will also get something similar uh, but not that big now nowhere as big as this one but yeah and i can tell you that yeah how is it to live here uh, the thing is that here we are right in the middle it's, it's near Olno center so you have shopping center with Klaus Sulson, Biltema, some cafes you have McDonald's you have uh, Moxbo you can just look here nearby uh, here we have a, a, a lawn uh, a co like a f uh, what do you call it Feles, Feles plan yeah uh, this is by the way Ubus and it's um, uh, some some a uh, Ubus so and then it's called Tittut bo, Tittut grun, uh, Tittut Boretslag so it's um, you know how it is for Norwegians they know what it is but uh, it's like a it's like a group of houses together uh, yeah so it's in a way it's say it gives you a lot of safety and convenience by doing that so let me show you again the facade was renovated one year ago and yeah it actually becomes nice and warm here because of the the dark colors uh, it used to be grayish light gray but now that it's dark it looks a lot more modern because this one was actually <laughs> this one was built um, uh, in 1949 i think so it's a, it's an old house and but they they managed to keep keep the the keep the house um updated and and you know keep renovating and keeping it nice and tidy and and repair stuff when it's needed i mean i'm being honest because you can you, you can look at the report uh they call it um uh, tilstands report what they uh, uh what do you call it again um toxman toxman he's been here so okay it's not perfect yeah i mean it's like i said it's the house is it's about 70 years old i think it was 74 years old house yeah <laughs> so uh, stuff okay some stuff um, might not look that nice anymore but at least the majority of the places you spend like bathroom living room uh, uh, all the other places they they are nice still so yeah you see Titut Granda oh, by the way fun fact Titut Granda is private road uh, many people don't know this but Titut Veyen this one is public road for the, belongs to the municipality and yeah there are some parking spots here you see again this is why i move and why i need to move because i'm growing out of my nest so i have millennium falcon parked over here you saw the other cars um yeah so but i will just show you also over here nice neighborhood no traffic you hear of course some noise from the from the road that's just how it is that's the, the trade-off when you live so uh centralized this is the trade-off but i can show you also over here just i'm just walking now real time i've done a video like this about seven years ago when i recently moved in to the house i mean so when i just moved into the house this this is also a nice neighbor he owns a model three um rebel drive or it's called i think this was called sr plus so really uh, it's a nice neighborhood i mean not gonna be wrong i know you guys will oh what about the rest? yeah that is that fortunately happens only once per year <laughs> so but you can just avoid it just like i did you know i managed to live with it uh, but it wasn't the main reason for me to move away here it was not because of the rest. it was other things like i mentioned i'm i've grown out of this place uh and i want something bigger and unfortunately you can't get it but look look here we have uh, bus number 68 uh, so we have a bus stop 
Yeah, oh, bus stop right there. That's, um, I think it was small Volvian. That's a bus stop with uh, 168 line, I think. Very frequent uh, departures. So that's very close. We have McDonald's open 24 seven with uh, four toilets, slots. Deli de Luca over there also open 24 seven. Two toilet stops, slots. Uh, let me just get over to the other side here. Uh, we have our meubler there. Uh, Oops on the other side there, body milieu. Uh, we have Allah Center there uh, with all the shops I mentioned. Uh, yeah, that's the other bus stop. That one is actually called Titutwean bus stop. Also, several uh, bus lines goes over there, and in the daytime, they are quite frequent. Um, and then as for charging, this is freaking charging powerhouse, man. Because over here, we have um, where well, we have uh, recharge. 250 kilowatt chargers with Chadamo and then also um, a hypercharger. This is only 150 kilowatt, but they have more. They have way more over here. Uh, you, you never ever have to worry about charging if you live around here, at least. Because, okay, I'm not gonna walk over there, but I can show you, I can just zoom in here. Over there, we have another hyper hypercharger. That one, I'm not sure I can see from here, but I think that was in 300 kilowatts split in two uh, slots and then uh, slightly over here, we also have more. We have another hypercharger plus 250 kilowatt tritium chargers. And then on that side, that's where I start my 1000 kilometer challenge. We have plenty of, um, of uh, chem power stalls. Um, I think it was around 10 stalls over there. So plenty of charging. <laughs> yeah. And okay, we have stuff like this we have to deal with. Uh, you might like it the noisy fossils. I'm personally not a big fan of it, but you know, people are different. So yeah, what else should I say um, about this area? Yeah, so the price, by the way, is roughly, uh, uh, it's, they call it Prisant Unique. We estimate that it might cost something like, uh, or it might be worth roughly 5.6 million no plus Felesiel, uh, around 300,000 something in Felesiel. Roughly six million nook. Uh, there will be reasoning this weekend on Sunday and Tuesday. Well, you have to contact Megle Rune. He's a very nice guy, also Tesla driver. You can contact him for everything. Uh, he's going to take care of the sales and, the and all that stuff. So that's usually how it works over here. I don't deal with that. Unfortunately, I will not be here when you come here, but we have to clean the house. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. We have done lots of stuff. We have rented. Um, a container from OK Mini Lager. So we put lots of shit over there uh, and we will move more stuff there as a, as, a, as a storage. And then we just have to clean up this one as clean as possible. That's how it is. It's going to be unnaturally clean, not clean, but it will be unnaturally clear. There's, there will be basically nothing here, like in the house. Like you have the sofa, you have the table, but all the amenities, all the stuff that we usually need will be cleared out, all the personal stuff. That's just how it is before you show the house. So we will actually not be here this weekend. We will go to Göteborg, uh, take a little family trip there with the Model Y. And yeah, so just show you guys from here. And this is also interesting, man. Like if you have a little EV spotting, you will notice that there are freaking EVs everywhere. Tesla, Tesla, e-Golf, iMiev, yeah, there, there are so many EVs around here. Yeah, there's one over there. And I can also show you here that on that side, we have, oops, a pretty big uh, shopping uh, center, uh, no, it's a grocery store. And also, yeah, oops, you know, oops. Bademilieu, Fag Möbler, and uh, Power is also over there, electronic store. We also have l shop over there. We have, like, like, I'm not kidding, but oh yeah, and also electric bus BYD. This is the 100 line, Kjeller via Lillestrøm. So, I mean, why, you, you might be wondering, why the heck do you want to sell this? I mean, it sounds good, right? I mean, I mean it is good. I, I'm not kidding. It is a good location. It's a really good location. And also really close to the, to the E6. You can see the E6 is down there. The good and the bad things. There will be constant noise from the E6. And I have to be honest about that one. Um, but usually in the evening, it's way calmer now. Uh, it, way calmer and also uh, on Sundays it's nice and calm but yes you will hear some noise in the daytime but usually if you're an office rat you will be at the office anyway when the noise is here and then on Sundays 
yeah, uh, then it's, it's nice and quiet, right? So, um, yeah, let me move over there, okay? And also, uh, if you care about that one, over here, just five minutes from here, you have recycling facility, Harolrud. So, <laughs> like, Bosch car service is five minutes from here, you know? Like, this is a really good location. But like I said, the problem is uh, space for me. And maybe also look at noise and stuff. Yeah, there's an Aria coming. There's a BMW iX coming. There's a Soul coming. Oh, I need to be. That's, uh, that's uh, um, the most electric uh, Toyota. Yeah. See, there's, there's electric cars everywhere, man, around here. <laughs> it used to be somewhat rare sight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the Skoda Enyaq. Uh, we can have a, I need to make a, a, a EV spotting around here because it's so busy. So you will see that almost 50% of the cars passing by here, they are electric. That's a Tesla. That's a Tesla again. Two Model 3s after each other. I know there's a Taycan behind it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a fat e-tron. Uh, that's, that's a classic Ionic. Oh, that's another Model 3. Wow, holy shit, man. Like the amount of electric car. I, I, are you kidding me? Ty, fat Taycan, Model Y with a trailer. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a leaf over there. Ah, wow, wow. Yeah, so uh, let me go back here. The thing is that, okay, you heard a little noise, right? But once we get inside here, okay, these noise walls, they might not be the best in today's standards, but they do actually block a lot of noise. So once you're in here, you can feel that there's less noise. So that's good, yeah, uh, nice neighborhood. Okay, let's get, just take a little walk and then I can show you the distances, it's short distance. And from here to the to E6, you usually have to drive, drive only around three minutes and then you are at E6. And then you have connection going up, north, south, whatever you wanna go. So uh, yeah, what else should I say about the house? Um, yeah. That's my neighbor. Oh, she borrowed uh, the lawnmower. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the lawnmower. I bought, I bought it. Uh, so, and also in, in general, yeah, what neighbors do I have? Uh, that guy is Norwegian family with, uh, yeah, okay, I'm not going to... Th that guy over there, I think he's, uh, he's um, um, uh, from, uh, what do you call it again? The land of the foe. Uh, I think he's Vietnamese, I'm not sure. Yeah, and we have some guys here from some from maybe the Central Europe guys, and there's some some uh, I'm not sure where they are from. But then my nice lady over here, uh, the, the neighbor, she's Norwegian. She's been living here for whew, decades, man. And this guy, I think he's from Serbia. Yeah, that family there, and there's some other guys, some Norwegians over there, and then also some there's a mix, some foreigners, some Norwegians over here. Like yeah. And then I'm just parked here. And what else should I say? Um, yeah, this place, this is my neighbor's uh, area. So she, she is actually really good at uh, upkeeping the, 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 the lawn and everything. I, I'm really slacking. Yeah, you see, you see how much nicer her side looks like? But if you have an, an handyman, you can always get this in shape on that side. But this, yeah. <laughs> um, and also, yeah, I should mention that uh, we also have uh, uh, connect electric connection and uh, and a switch inside for for electric uh, what do you call it uh, the uh, Marquise yeah we had that before but then it got kaput and then I didn't bother fixing it because I was thinking okay uh, I was telling myself two years ago that yeah we're gonna move to Yasim soon well it wasn't soon they, it was delayed but uh, you, so you can't get the the Marquise thing there to to block the sun so yeah. Um, I think that's it, man. Uh, did a quick uh, walk uh, around. Yeah, oh shit, I need to start heating, uh, start cooling the cabinet. It's freaking hot here. But so you just go in there and check it out, the house. So the plan is to move in the new house at Yesim around uh, October, I think. Everything goes roughly as planned in October. There's, there's a little bit of like, there's a little bit of shit. Some, some foolishness I have to deal with when we build a new house in Yesheim. Uh, some of you guys know that in, um, in the live stream. It's just uh, too long to discuss this now. And I don't want any backseat contractors to tell me or uh, tell me that I should get this, I should get that, that you know, because you're not going to live there. I'm going to live there. You're not going to pay my bills. I'm going to pay the bills. <laughs> Stuff just, yeah, adds up. Uh, just today, I went over there to Yesheim and um, 
we figured out that we have to get this wall, Stöttemur they call it, because then we can utilize the space better. But then that costs another 100,000 nook, uh, almost 10,000 euros extra. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, another extra expense that I didn't think of, but it's important, so okay, you know. Yeah, but okay. So um, anyway, I think that's gonna be it. This was a single take video for the win in 4K. So hopefully you like it and go check it out. The house is for sale. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I get budget and talk to you later.